Hello everyone and welcome to another match day vlog from the Bola Bola show. I'm currently right now in KL Central boarding the LRT bound for Glen Mary Station because I'm heading to Stadium MPPJ. So let's go then. Tonight's Super League fixture is between PJ City versus JDT. What can we say about JDT? Well, they are currently running on an all-time high confidence. They are on the verge of winning their ninth consecutive Super League title. And guess what? Last week, they just clinched the FA Cup. So, you know, they are going to this game fully believing that they can actually win and get three points. On the other hand, for PJ City, things hasn't gone really well for them this season. I wonder if they're ever going to have fans who can back them up tonight against the Mikey JDT. Now for those of you who are not aware about PJ City, well, they're kind of a unique team that plays a brand of football that I like to call Moneyball. Sure about that? Okay, not that kind of Moneyball. Well, basically, you know, they're coached by P Maniam and they're the only team in the Super League that is known for having a all-local lineup. Well, it's an approach that, you know, has paid them. Let's just say, you know, it has worked for them at some games, but not necessarily most of the times. It remains to be seen you know, how things are going to turn up for them tonight. It's going to be an interesting game, so let's go in then. Well, we just uh, managed to get our seat and it isn't fair to say that tonight even PJ City, you know, they have their own in small numbers, but they have their supporters as well. So, you know, their, their team is not all alone tonight. But obviously, overwhelming the crowd tonight. He's here for JDT. All right, game is about to start anytime soon. So hopefully, we will have an amazing fixture. Hope it's not a one-sided game. That's for sure. But you know, let's see how it goes. About almost 15 minutes gone and so far it has been JDT all the way. They had pretty much created most of the dangerous chances in this game. PJ City had one moment at the start of the game but after that, nah, they've been pretty much pinned to their own half. Blunder by booking the wrong player. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. 
despite of all their superiority, it's just astonishing that JDT still couldn't find the net in the first 45 minutes. PJCT doing everything they can, keep it tight at the back and try not to concede any goal. But as we were watching the first 45 minutes, you know, there were a handful of scary moments where JDT could have punished them, easily could have punished them. I don't know what to expect in the next 45 minutes, to be honest. If it continues this way, obviously, you know, at some point, I think JDT will score. Still going to be a long night for PJCT. I'm thinking they're going to try to nick a point out of this game. Based on what I've seen in the in the first half, I think that's the game plan tonight. Try to get that point. Despite conceding a goal, PJCT completely looked like a different side after that. Making attempts and, you know, almost, almost getting that equalizer. Counter from JDT just now. Wow, that was just amazing. Well, you know, it's still 1-0 to JDT. All hope is not lost yet for PJCT, but they really need to try harder. City just full of surprises to that, you know. As soon as they conceded the penalty, going one nil down, they came back to this game very strongly. They were fighting for every ball, and the reward is they just got themselves a beautiful counter-attacking equalizer. You just thought that JDT is going to whitewash this game, but nope, that's not going to happen tonight. Money ball is rolling, man. Money ball is rolling.
You know, when JDT took the lead, I thought you know, that was it for tonight. But just like in the movie Moneyball, there's a saying goes that, you know, so much more to the game that we don't even know. Clearly what happened with PJ City tonight. Came back again strongly. They kept fighting for the ball. They kept pushing harder. And they got themselves an equalizer. Game finished off with a two-all draw, which I think it's a fair result for both teams. I just realized one thing that in the Bola Bola Show match day vlog, we have done four games involving JDT. And they've never won a single one of them. <laughs> Amazing, right? Three draws and one defeat. So, if you really want to take your bet on defeating JDT, you might yourself hire the Bola Bola Show to do uh, something for you then. Well, that's all for tonight. Hope you enjoy our match day vlog. And, of course, if you haven't, you know, please do subscribe to the channel and give us your support. And, uh, till the next one. Goodbye. And thanks for watching.